Hey girl, let's talk crime. In this week's episode of What's Happening Now, I have four cases for you guys. 34-year-old Desmond Hamilton, an entrepreneur, a father of five, a man who is respected in his community, is dead after having a confrontation with a teenager who he ordered to stay away from his 14-year-old daughter. On the morning of July 18, 2021, a neighbor spots 17-year-old Nicholas McQuarter and alerts Desmond. Desmond then goes into his 14-year-old daughter's room on the second floor and realizes that 17-year-old Nicholas has climbed through her window, possibly using a ladder. So this is not the first time that he has encountered this teenager. He has ordered him to stay away previously when he has climbed into her window when they lived at an apartment complex. So as he's escorting the teenager out of his home, the daughter's mother and grandmother pull her aside to talk to her about what's going on. And that's when an argument happens between Desmond and Nicholas. Not knowing who shot first, both were armed, shots were fired, and 45 minutes later, Desmond Hamilton was dead. The 17-year-old is facing charges of second-degree murder, illegal use of a weapon, and possessing a stolen gun. This next case is about a 10-year-old named Callie O'Connell out of East Tennessee, who, according to her mother, was beaten for more than four hours by her neighbors. On Monday, July 19th, 2021, at approximately 7.30 in the morning, her neighbor's kids come over and ask if Callie can come out to play. This is something that was very normal and that happened for the last six months. On top of the fact that they were neighbors, she didn't see anything wrong. What happened next, no mother should have to endure. From the time Callie entered into her neighbor's home, she was beaten all over her body and her face. She was humiliated. She was dragged from room to room. They had sprayed her with bleach. They had made her pick up her own blood. This assault was shared on social media, such as TikTok and Snapchat. And worse, the mother recorded these teenagers doing so. Two juveniles have been arrested for this assault and charged with aggravated kidnapping and aggravated assault. They're expected to appear in court next week. Rodney Alcala, also dubbed the dating game killer, who was sentenced to death on five murders, although authorities believe he's killed up to 130, has died at the age of 77 from natural causes on July 24th, 2021. R. Kelly has been accused of new abuse allegations, including a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old boy, and prosecutors want this and dozen more introduced into his trial as evidence when he goes to court on August 9th. If this is a case that you guys are interested in me covering, just let me know in the comments.